guys what is up and welcome back to a brand new video and today i have something on my channel that i have never done before this is kind of like a clash with ash style video i'm sorry ash for stealing your idea but we're gonna have a pro on the channel today thank you ash for the awesome ideas all the time but oh uh, we're gonna have a pro on the channel today a lot of you guys probably already see it in the um title and the thumbnail but we've got siege light on the channel today a really good siege player obviously siege light um, if you guys don't know who he is, he won Mobile Monday, the very first ever Mobile Monday. Um, I, I believe it's in California. Um, it is ran by like RPL, so it's a pretty major event. There's only ever been one, but now it's going to be like, I guess every Monday. But uh, Siege Light did win the very first Mobile Monday. Just a quick introduction. We do have uh, Siege Light on the channel today. Right now, he, has, he is at 10 and 1 in a grand challenge with this awesome expo deck that you guys see on the screen right now. But, um... He is 10 and 1 in this grand challenge, and we're gonna go through with him until he gets that 12 win. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Check out Siege Light. His Twitter is going to be in the description down below. Go ahead and drop him a follow. Show him some love because he deserves that love, guys. And uh, taking time out of his day to come on the channel and talk with us. He's gonna walk us through these matches. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into this. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like if you guys do want more of these videos. I've got a ton of pros that are friends that I would like to bring on the channel and do more of this. So let me know if this is something you guys want to see more of. Some pros explaining these awesome decks. And let's get right into this, guys. All right, guys, we are now back with Siege Light, the almighty uh, Siege user. So um, tell us where you are right now in this grand challenge, man. Um, I'm 10 and 1 right now. All right, currently 10 and 1, so you've got two losses to go to get to these 12 wins, but for someone like you, 12 wins is nothing. So uh, I'm really excited to see you get into these matches, and you're just going to kind of walk us through what, what's going through your mind when you're uh, placing everything here with this Expo deck. All right, sounds good. All right, let's let search. Me know. Yeah, let me know when you do get into that match. Jeez, 5,100 trophies as well, not too shabby on ladder. Right now, uh, I hate ladder. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you at yeah. all. I I tried to play over in the season, and I tilted, and I was like, eh, I'm not playing this again. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was me <laughs> earlier in the season. I I went to 4400, which is pretty bad. Then tilted to 4200, got like sick of ladder. Then watched a CWA video on Expo, and then I pushed to 4600. Oh, now oh. I'm just done. All right, you're in a match. I, I, I found got a it. match. Yeah. All right, just walk us through what you're thinking. All right. I got Ice Golem, Ice Spirit, Expo Log, so I'm just gonna like suck one Ice Spirit, I guess, at the bridge. What's like the ideal starting hand with this deck that you're hoping for usually? Um, probably like Hunter, Mega Minion, Ice Golem, and Ice Spirit, and maybe like a Log as the next card. Okay, okay, okay. so, alright, so what are you thinking here with that balloon coming in? Is that a problem um, or not really? Not really, it's just kind of weird how he's got Balloon and Skelly Girl. Yeah, I haven't Those seen Mega Minion this. Yeah, that Balloon's gonna die, so I'm gonna actually Expo in the middle right here. Alright, so and why then... did you go for the Expo in the middle right there? Uh, cause the, I don't want the Balloon Bomb to hit the Expo. Okay. And that okay. Expo can reach both towers or just one? Uh, just the, the left one. Okay. Cause it's on that side. And I'm just gonna pull this over here. Alright, so that's far. gonna die. Pretty steady right now, kind of just feeling it out. Yeah, this is a weird deck. Yeah, it is a really weird deck. Mega Knight Balloon and Skeleton Barrel. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah. Alright, um, okay. Probably just get a Mega Minion back here. The Hunter, like, wrecks the Balloon, so... So are you gonna have be... to save it for that. Alright, so you're gonna save yeah. that for the Balloon. And, uh, for the Mega Knight, what's your ideal counter in your deck for the Mega Knight? Um, probably like Ice Golem Hunter, maybe, or like pull it across and guards, maybe, or something like that. All right, really nice yeah, log too. I saw, Expo. I saw a video yeah. on Twitter about like placing your log like that. Yeah, I was like about to leak, so I don't want that to. Okay, this Expo's gonna die, so there's no point in defending it. All right, so you're not gonna defend that Expo. Just let it go down, and you're gonna start preparing to defend here. Yeah. And hopefully that um, heals that Mega Knight quick. Yeah, I killed it. And Ice Spirit jumped, which is nice. That was an OP Ice Spirit. It retargeted the Mega Knight from the Hunter and it got onto the uh, Inferno Dragon. Yeah, he's probably gonna start something in the back, so I might just go aggressive over here. Okay, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's okay. Okay, right, he, got, he got Mega Knight. That's great. Alright, do you have Ice Golem up or no? Yeah. 
Well, this is like, I can maybe connect right here. Alright, so you're hoping to get your first connection in this push right here. All oh, nice guards. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on. I wish I was that good. A pretty, like, the expo didn't have much health. Are you, like, waiting pretty much till Double Elixir to really get a lock on? Or are you hoping to get one um, like before? I mean, if you can get one early, that's nice, but usually Double Elixir is where you guys start cycling it. Right, so right now, from my perspective, I know I'm a big noob, but it looks like you've got a pretty big lead and, like, you'll be able to take this one home. What do you think right now? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let me this. Oh, oh, I missed. No. Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome to the Serpent Boy channel where the chokes are always real. Don't worry, my fans, they're not, uh, they're used to that, trust me. Alright. <laughs> Since that Mega Knight can, like, reach X with the river and want it to, like, kind of, like, around a little bit. Okay, so you put the expo, um, yeah, because it has to walk around. Alright, so he just can't, he can't, like, just drop troops on it right there. Basically, yeah. Okay, how did he get a second Sky bro? I don't know, he cycled that <laughs> really, really quickly. Oh man, this is a menacing push right here. This is looking really scary. See, if that was me, I would have completely lost my cool, and that would have been tower. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been we're good. Jeez, nice defense right there. Oh, there's no chance I would have been that. He's going to Mega Knight on the right, I'm fairly sure. Unless he doesn't have enough elixir. Then he didn't. Yeah, it looks like he did okay. not have enough elixir, and you're going to shred through that Mega Knight with that Hunter. Yeah. Oh, the lock-on. The lock-on is juicy. That's looking like GG right now. Yeah, that's game. My fireball. Jeez. All right, so you are now 11 and 1? Yeah. 11 and 1 in the GC. Let's see Um, the next match. If you can get this next match, then you will get the 12 wins. Take a screenshot, by the way, of whatever you get in the chest, and I'll throw it up All on right. the screen after. So was that a, was that like a pretty easy matchup? Is Balloon like a pretty easy matchup to go against with that um, deck? Yeah, unless he like out cycles you or you like use it. Like if I use it on the Mega Knight and then he just went Balloon other lane and I didn't have Mega Minion and it'd be kind of like hard to defend, I'd have to cycle real fast. Oh shoot, I got another I match. Yes. The 12th win, hopefully, fingers crossed that this is the 12th win. Yeah, I got like almost the same starting hands last game let's just do the same thing so kind of just cycle around and feel out what he's yeah got. Ooh, minor. oh beautiful what are some like opponents that you hope to face like certain archetypes you hope to face and other archetypes that make it really hard to uh like, um anything others? really controly kind of like this so this is like okay. a bad matchup for you right now no this is this is kind of good like depends if you can I don't really know what he's playing yet. It looks like Mega Knight or something, yeah. Yeah, I know oftentimes, I don't know why, whenever I play Miner, sometimes I do choke with Expo. But it's so nice to see like these plays, like the, like putting the Expo in the middle, like between the bridges. I never think to do that personally. I always put my Expo in the same spot. And that's definitely something <laughs> I have to start thinking about when I am playing myself. Like, did if their main counter is like a really tanky card, like uh, Mega Knight or like, it's like basically yeah, Mega Knight. Then you put it in the middle because it has to walk around the bridges because it can't jump across on the expo. Right. So, so like, make it just walk makes around. right. So it makes like the uh, path a lot longer and it's easier for you to defend yeah. their push or de defense, I guess. Basically. Right. I don't want to do it in the middle because he has an Inferno Dragon. I'm just gonna do it on the right. Right. So you're just gonna ignore that Inferno Dragon tower. Oh, take. Oh, lock on. Yeah. Pretty early lock on. That is before double elixir. And the ice golem should take care of the try to defend it. Okay, yeah, the fire dragon's gonna kill it. I'm just gonna guards this. All right. So, uh, for the most part, if it is like before double elixir, will you typically not defend your expo as strong and just get as much chip damage as you can with the expo? Yeah, lock? unless it's like unless it's an expo that I know I can do like like basically almost take the tower kind of like this. Like a really then, yeah, I'll defend it. Okay. Yeah makes sense um do you have any like special tips for anyone that is like starting off to learn expo or maybe just intermediate expo users um basically just like try to know like what their counter is and how to get around it right and, and do you want to play it like pretty conservative or offensive probably mostly defensive right um pretty like defensive for a lot of the game and then if you, there's an opening then yeah then go offensive Alright, so right now it looks like you were playing a lot of defense right there, and 
Are you hoping yeah. to make for a like counter right here and drop an expo and get a lock on now? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then he's gonna inferno dragon some ice cream right here. Okay, that's you dropped the inferno dragon. What is that expo on? Okay. <laughs> yeah. The inferno I don't dragon. Know what that was. Oh nice ice spirit there. Jeez, the plays. Um, I read on Twitter that with this deck you you wanna wait until you have kind of a decent amount of troops behind the expo before dropping the expo that way it already has support since like typically you have expo decks with yeah. like the tesla and stuff whereas this doesn't mm -hmm. have that i might just have to fireball cycle him i'm gonna defensive expo first so you're playing so defense to make sure that a uh, mega knight doesn't connect oh the royal ghost oh nice round <laughs> i would have missed that royal yeah. ghost completely but, oh, man. hunter on a minor just yeah, just does that to it. Hunter shreds miners and um, hog riders as well. So here comes the fireball cycle. That's about two fireballs away. And you'll be able yeah. to walk away with the W if you can keep defending. Oh, nice. The ice golem. Is that, that's a uh, fireball log, right? Uh, no, no, not quite. Not quite. All right, that that would have been my mistake right there. I would have logged and tried to cycle to a fireball. But um, Inferno Dragon on the right. Oh, man. This is really close right now, but... Uh, you're playing really good defense. I, I don't think he's going to be able to yeah, get... I have to log first because it's uh, cheaper to cycle it. And I'm going to have to get log again. Right. So, wait. How much it. does Tourney Standard Fireball do after they nerf the spell? Uh, 201. Oh, 201. Jeez, that's rough. All right. So, you're about... Now you're one Fireball and one log away from walking away with the W in this match. Yeah, I do need to defend this Miner, though. Cool. Right, 200. Luckily, he doesn't log. have... He doesn't have a poison in this deck, weirdly enough. And that's yeah. GG, man. Nice match. So, that was tough. <laughs> two, no, that was a pretty tough matchup. I know for a fact I would have lost that one right there. Um, Yeah, open that chest and let me know what you do get. Should I jump into a match right now, jump into a grand challenge with that deck and see what I can do? And like you, um, yeah. like spectate me and tell me, like kind of coach me through it a bit? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump in that whenever you're ready. Let me know. All right, I'm just opening this chest. I just want some rockets to get a max. I'm like 12 rockets away. Oh man, 12 rockets from oh. max. Is your account mostly max or no? Um, I don't even have a max rare. Like rocket would be my first max rare. Oh, oh I didn't screenshot the chest. It was a pretty bad chest though. I only got like 11 baby dragons. Oh geez. All right, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a match right now. Are, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm matched up. Oh, don't don't judge, don't judge. <laughs> I'm a pretty rough expo <laughs> user. Not not the best, possibly the worst. All right, ice golem in the back. Right yeah. now, I had ice golem, um, guards, expo, and the mega minion. Oh. All right, so All right. um, I like probably stack stuff behind the ice golem to kill that giant. Should I go with hunter behind the ice golem? I'd probably put it yeah, like right there. Okay, bomber. Bomber. Like I have log best in my part hand. In the game. Oh, oh man, the mirror yeah. bomber! I'm actually kind of scared right now. Should I log those? No. Yeah. All right, I oh, logged them it? away. And oh, okay, I was able to defend that. And I'm gonna go with an ice spirit to distract the wizard. Yeah, it'll die to it, but that's good. Oh, oh. man, I took two <laughs> shots from that. All right, I'm gonna go with an ice golem in the back yeah. and kind of slowly just keep cycling around until I get a pretty decent sized push to get the expo down. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Mega Minion's down. So far, he doesn't know I have Expo yet, but I should. Oh, fireball that's a fireball value. <laughs> oh, yes. Juicy. All right, I'm going to go with an Expo right now. Oh, was that an okay Expo? Yeah, that was good. You can, like, Hunter. Yeah, you know, so, so defend that with the Hunter. Yeah. As it comes closer. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't mirror that uh, bomber again. All right, yeah, so fine. I did get an Expo lock on. So far, so good. Am I playing this okay? Any mistakes that you've yeah. seen? Yeah. No. Should I go with guards to defend it? Um, I would have waited till like after the expo. Or actually, no, wait. Those guards are good. Never mind. All right. So I played it right and defended the expo, and I did get the tower. So yeah. Right now, would you play defense and just not let him get like any damage on the tower, or would you still try and go for that left tower? Um, I played defense just because he has like a Jump. pretty. He has the giant and like elite bars, which is really threatening. You can take your tower pretty fast. All right, so yeah, should I go defense. for a defensive expo right now? Yeah, you could. And All just right. defend it. Or fireball that. <laughs> oh, no, I missed my fireball. No. That's good. Oh, good. man. You won't right. take that much damage. I missed my ice golem was really late, too. 
I took more damage than I wanted to, but is that expo placement okay? Because I know some, yeah. sometimes people put it like... Anywhere in like there's fine. Another like special thing you can do with expo on defense is whatever side they're going on, you put the expo like right, like one tile in front of the tower and the one like tile to the middle and they can't poison it and it defends okay. both lanes. So I'm going to go ahead and log that out of the way. And I'm going to go with an ice golem. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to set up another cool. defensive expo. Oh, one tile yeah. too high than what I wanted. But no, 13 it. seconds. It doesn't really left. matter. I mean, I don't, I don't think that was the best <laughs> match because he wasn't really playing that too well. If I was playing anyone yeah, with a decent amount, was if I was playing anyone <laughs> with a decent amount of talent, I probably would have lost that badly. But not bad. I'm gonna practice a lot more expo. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. Any certain shoutouts that you want to give? Anything you want to say before departing from the channel? Um, I guess I'll shout out my Mooblins. Uh, they know who they are. Hey. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to, I'd love to have you on the channel again. This was a lot of fun. Let me know. Hit me up anytime you do want to be on the channel. If you have any good uh, decks, if you want to do another expo deck, guys, go ahead and drop a like. Like I said in the intro, uh, Siege Light's Twitter is in the description. Make sure you go ahead and follow him and show him a whole bunch of love and uh, drop a whole bunch of love on this video if you guys do want to see some more of these types of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Clash Royale content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!